So guys, you've just installed GTA 5 on a low-end laptop or PC like I did and uh, after the game installed, yes it did take a lot of time, after the game installed I've uh, opened it up and it was running really badly. I didn't have like small frame rates or anything like that, the game was stuttering and freezing. I had like 2 frames in 1 second. Uh, no, sorry, uh, two, uh, uh, one frame per two seconds. Uh, I, it was like I was looking at a picture. The game was constantly freezing. I just couldn't play the game at all. So, like a normal human being, I started looking online for graphical tweaks because I thought that was the problem. But it wasn't. I activated potato mode in this uh, low spec experience program, which is by the way really good. I've activated potato mode and the game was still freezing. The game was still running like it did before. I just had a bit more uh, frames, uh, but no, didn't really help with the playing experience because the game was unplayable. So. I started looking online for uh, what could possibly be the reason and people are saying it's a bottleneck example or it could be a uh, low RAM so I thought that was it you know I had to upgrade my RAM so later that night I started looking online for VRAM because I knew that my uh, GPU has a low amount of VRAM and uh, people were saying that it doesn't uh, help the graphics uh, like the performance uh, sorry at all but I watched Linus, uh, Linus Tech Tips' video and he said that if you have the right amount of VRAM and you add more, it won't affect your performance. But if you have much lower than needed, upgrading your VRAM will help massively. And then it clicked. I knew I had to upgrade my VRAM and I watched some tutorials and they didn't work at all. And I didn't know what could possibly be the reason until I discovered it. So before we get into this, I want to let you know that I've already done what we are about to do, and I don't want to revert the changes because I don't want to mess uh, I don't want to mess my computer up. So before we start, go into settings, go to display, and right here you want to scroll down and click on advanced display settings, display adapter properties, and you want to see how much shared system memory you have. You do not want to go over this i don't think we are going to get even near that number but just keep in mind do not go there and as you can see my dedicated video memory is 576 megabytes because i've changed it because before you can just look it up on the internet intel hd 4600 only has 128 megabytes so you can see we've increased it so Let's just get into this. I don't I don't wanna like bore you guys or make you click off this video. I swear it's not clickbait. Okay, so what you wanna do is just to hold the Windows key on your computer, on your keyboard right there, and the R button at the same time. And this little window, uh, okay, well, and this little window should uh, pop up in which you are going to type reg edit like I did here. You can see it, right? Now I'm gonna click on OK. Yes. And you're going to be taken uh, here. Let me just close this just so you can see. Okay, yours will look like this. Most definitely will look like this. Now I want to click on this little arrow when where it says high key local machine. You do not want to mess the other folders. You want just to like mess around with this one. And now cl double click on it. Go to software, double click on software. And you'll have a bunch of freaking folders. Now, what you want to do is just go to Intel. As you can see, it's right here. You just have to look for it. You'll find it eventually. You want to double click on Intel. And you can see you have another, you know, row of folders. You do not care about them. Just right click on Intel. Click on, uh, go to new and key. You want to make a key. Now, as you can see down here, you want to delete it and name it GMM with caps lock on sorry that's not caps lock now it is gmm now because i already done it as you can see right here i'm going to uh, delete this uh, i'm going to delete it because i do not want to mess anything up so as you can see it will look like uh, this now when you click on it you'll only have this first file which says a b default reg you know stuff this won't be here. So yeah, this won't be here, dedicated uh, segment thing. Okay, so you want to right click on this blank white space here, click on new, and you want to make a new D word 32-bit value, like this one right here. And you want to rename it to, 
Okay, guys, pay attention because this is the most important thing in this whole tutorial. You want to make sure that the DS and the second S is in capital letters because you'll write dedicated segment memory like I will right now. So D. I'm writing slowly just so you guys can see. And now the S. And now the uh, S again. Size. This is what you want to type in there. This is what you want to rename it to. So, after you've done this, I'm not gonna do it because I already have the file right there. Okay. Okay, so after you've renamed it, it'll look like this, like this second one right here. And uh, this window will uh, show up. And yours won't be called a new value, it will be called, you know, segment size or whatever we typed there. So, now you want to click on decimal right here, make sure you click on decimal and here this is the VRAM, right? So you want to make sure you type in the correct amount. If you have 2 gigs, you want to type 256. If you have um, 4 gigs like I do, you can type in 512. If you have 8 gigs, you can type 1024. Now, again, pay attention to not go over the shared memory that we showed um, in the start of the video when we were at the display properties you know IntelliJ graphics just don't go over that i have uh 1.9 gigs available but i don't have enough uh, enough uh, ram so i can go there but i will type in 512 like i did in this file right here okay now after you've done all that all you have to do is just to click on x and restart your uh, PC. Okay guys, after your laptop boots up, all you have to do is just go back to settings, display, and of course in my case it's going to be changed because it was before we started the tutorial. If you have Intel HD 3000, I know that only has 32 megabytes, so now you've allocated more dedicated video memory. This will boost performance not only in GTA but in all freaking games. Now let's jump into GTA 5 and I'm not going to screen record this, I'm going to use my camera because of course screen recorders decrease performance. Okay so as you guys can see we are in GTA right now, it's just loading up and by the way I'm not using mods, I've only installed the car spawner mode, nothing else, no graphical tricks, no nothing and now I'm going to show you that you can even bump up the graphics if you want, you still get good frame rates. You just have to choose, do you either want 60 or 30? And by the way, this is a Lenovo L440, it's a D-pad. Okay, now we are in GTA, let me just show you how the game runs. Huh? Just tell me this is a massive improvement. As you can see, it's not a video, let me just move my trackpad, you see, you see right? You see? We are moving. Look how good the game runs, and let me just show you my graphic settings. Uh, right now settings um, As you can see my graphics are set to of course normal which is pretty much just low in GTA normal It's low. They just put normal just so you don't feel bad, but as you can see shader quality It's set to high Reflection quality is set to high which of course uh, would never be possible on a freaking um, Intel HD um, Laptop with integrated graphics and also make sure you choose uh, direct extent because that will massively improve your experience just look at this you see 512 megabytes uh, before it was uh, 128 now it's 512 as you can see we are over that but it doesn't really affect the gameplay experience let me just show you why um, I told you to choose direct uh, 10 when you switch to 11 boom you see you lower that by you know changing your graphic settings but as you can see the game runs nicely and you don't have to install some ugly you know graphic tweaks to like play GTA the game looks pretty okay to the eye you know nothing fancy nothing bad I'm just uh, really amazed because no one um, like I, I found no tutorial about this on YouTube and like and like, why though? Because it's such a good method, because you don't have to downgrade your graphics or download any tweak. This is all done without downloading anything and you get pretty good performance. And by the way, my laptop is a ThinkPad 440 and it's not even in performance mode, which would give me more frames than I'm having right now. Again, I don't know why this is not on YouTube or anything, but 
now you found it so guys uh this was it hopefully you enjoyed the video and um just uh, make sure to give a like and share this video with your friends with your low-end pc friends uh some here signing out